Mountain Theater, I feel it's like it's a small little caravan of magics that if you happen to step into, you're treated with something beautiful. I haven't done a play in it's been six years since this current production that we're doing now, since I've been on stage. And so I thought to myself, this could be a nice place for me to do a play that I, uh, that I love. And, and it ended up being a place that brings me in. So, you know, the fountain felt for me, this space particular, like it's a home, it's quiet, it's intimate, and yet it's uh, a, a broad enough theatrical venue that you can kind of be big and be bold and be different with it. A dear friend of mine who's no longer with us, who was a fantastic actor, Philip Seymour Hoffman, said to me once, the only responsibility an actor has is to the part he is playing, right? And so when I started working on this play, I looked at just Eddie Torres, right? Didn't sort of allow myself to let all the other outside circumstances of the play and the productions and the accolades and the attention sort of affect me in any way. I wanted to just make sure that I got that down right. Once I did that, then, then I started to realize why the accolade and why the attention and all of that because you get the sense once you do the performance and you feel the reaction and you have to go out and get in your car and there's people who are going to stop you and they're going to give you your reactions. I haven't had such a, a visceral reaction from an audience uh, uh, in a while actually, in quite a while. Ironically enough, the last time I felt that way was with a play that I did with Philip Seymour Hoffman, so I'm sure that that's all sort of bringing it in <laughs> a little bit of full circle. My name is Felix Solis, and I am here at the Fountain Theater. I'm currently in a production called The Cost of Living by Martina Majok, and I wanna extend an invitation for everyone out there to come to the Fountain Theater to experience what theater is like and to allow for your expansive world to get even bigger by coming in and experiencing the kind of magic and the kind of theater that the Fountain Theater does here. Uh, it's important, it's vital, it keeps you active, it keeps you alive, and at most, it takes you away from your phone, it takes you away from your computer, and it keeps you live and active and visceral. And, uh, and I think that that's what this theater offers. And I think you'd be remiss if you didn't join that.